Most people have no idea that Maine's volcanoes were the biggest in the world. Maine has at least four volcanoes. They're all within 100 miles of each other. And this is the fifth, Jordan's Pond, as you can see here. That's the crater of it and surrounded by the mountains of the volcano. So that's the fifth one. So Maine's five volcanoes, Cranberry Island, Il Ojo, Portland Headlight, Cushing Formation, and Jordan's Pond. They are Cranberry Island, Il Ojo, Portland Headlight, and Cushing Formation. Maine has lots of rocky coastline, as we know, gorgeous coastal islands. Basically, these volcanoes are a continuation of the East Coast Seamount that has it's a series of uh, a line of underwater volcanoes from Maine from northwest to southeast and it's 30 underwater volcanoes, the seamount there. You'd never guess that some of the land in Maine, which is so beautiful, is actually a result of volcanoes. It's hard to believe. The truth is, though, that Maine was the site of some very large eruptions in the distant past. Eruptions of the size have not been seen in a very long time. In fact, most of the famous example was two and a half million years ago, actually considered recent. It blew up the entire island in Indonesia. And to think that Maine experienced this type of, of seismic eruption is very, well, scary. Maine's volcanoes activity took place about 420 million years ago. Super eruptions create huge piles of ash and lava fragments along what later became known as the East Coast. And today, scientists found at least four, four volcanoes along 100 miles of the Maine coast. One of them is Il Ojo, H-A-U-T. Calm, quiet, it exposes the heart of a caldera forming volcano. The eruptions caused the earth to spew the lava contents of the volcano's magma chamber, leaving a huge hole in the ground. Evidence of eruptions can also be found in the rocks at Portland Headlight. That's another area of a volcano. The rocks are from Cushing Formation, which are uh, basically look like a light type of a very uh, thick sh slate type of thing, um, which was formed about 471 million years ago, resulting of from many different explosions. And the main volcano eruptions created the Cushing Formation. It happened before the existence of the Himalayas, the Alps, and even the dinosaurs. Of course, the volcanoes are now for the most part eroded and gone, but visitors can still see things like rocks joined together through the edges of the main islands. Then you have Cranberry Island. It also shows signs of volcanic activity in the form of a 2,300 foot thick layer of welded tuff. That's a rock formed from volcanic ash. We see that in Yellowstone as well. Scientists believe all of Maine's super eruptions took place about 424 million years ago to 419 million years ago. And thanks to uh, specifically to geoscientist Sheila Seaman, who originally spoke on this topic at the Geological Society of America annual meeting in 2013. This is from Only in Our State in Maine concerning the volcanoes of Maine. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial 
subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, and Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.